Hello everybody and welcome to today's brief video. This is my Puppy Linux Apologies video. We are once again seeing the trusty CRT belonging to the machine from 2007 with its processor AMD Athlon 64 3000 Plus from 2003 and 2GB two RAM. I have booted into Puppy Linux the Jammy Pup variant and this time I have been indeed able to update the software repository. So perhaps it was some sort of network problem wherever, but it doesn't seem to be a fundamental Puppy Linux problem. So this I am now officially noting. Well, and this is its package manager. Like you reach it from up here. Oi, oi. And then you have a suggestion to install Puppy, but you can just go to install applications and then you're having the Puppy package manager. And then it is suggesting you to install a web browser, which you don't want to. And I can then pick from here anything I want. And funny thing which I noticed is if I look for Lisp, right? Then I did in fact manage to find here ECL, which I also did install already and which is a famous direct descendant of Kyoto Common Lisp, like embeddable Common Lisp. Ah, weird that I don't see it. Maybe, hmm, maybe because I have installed it already, I'm, I'm not sure, but I got ECL, and when I was looking for ECL, I could not find it. But let's take GCL, GNU Common Lisp. Then you simply go here on the upper right where it tells do it, and then it opens such a window and, you know, does it. <laughs> You're required not to close it. But if things are that way, then of course Puppy is immensely extensible and can be used for whatever you want, because that means that you do really have access to Ubuntu's packages and therefore you do not really depend on just what comes pre-installed with Puppy. Man, that takes its sweet time. <laughs> but I understand this is just has to translate it somehow into the RAM disk. I'm not going to commit this now to the hard disk nevertheless. But I also would like to say this is entirely possible to do so. Like it is not a bad system. I take everything bad back which I said about Puppy Linux, okay? <laughs> Oh my god, is this a long install of GNU Common Lisp, which is itself like, I don't know, like, what is it, 5 megabyte? And it installed it. Very good. So, and now if I open the terminal, I should be able to say GCL, and I would expect... I would expect it to say something or do something else than that. Okay, GCL just failed. Hey, beware, puppy. <laughs> Let's try with SBCL. Do it. This is going to take even longer, I believe. But you see it started. So I'm going to spare you now the wait and I'll just turn it on once it has installed it. Boom, SBCL is installed. Very good. Let's try with SBCL. So SBCL is working just nicely, as it is expectable from SBCL, one may say. And so, let's say by and large, depending on what you install, it may work better or worse. Yeah, here is, here is ECL, right? You see it. I have installed it. So this is where it is already installed. But look at something funny. When I look for ECL itself, I see here ECJ, right? Oh yeah, and I find ECL in the very bottom. <laughs> okay, well, apparently it orders things by installed, not installed. So good enough, good enough, certainly. And with that, I must say, oh, please stop starting these things. <laughs> Puppy, you're an awesome distribution. I hope you enjoyed today's video, dear viewers. I hope to greet you here soon again. Until we meet again, have a wonderful time. And from me, goodbye.